Hello and welcome to Air Show Frequently Asked Questions. You're probably here because you see my guide on how to record your iOS screen and have some issues or questions. If you don't know what Air Show is, it's an app that allows you to directly record your iPhone, iPad and iPod screen for free without jailbreak. You're best off watching my complete guide by clicking on the link on screen now and then coming back to this video if you still have further issues. Now on to the questions. I have received thousands of comments on my guide, many of them questions which have come up repeatedly. So I asked the developer of the app at show.tv to help answer those questions so let's get straight into it. What apps do I need to record my iOS screen? Previously you needed two, Airshow and Show.tv, but now you just need one, Airshow. The app is free and doesn't require modification of your device, such as jailbreaking. Where can I download Airshow? The most important thing to remember is that it's not available on the Apple App Store. Try these links on screen now and in the description, with the Cherry Road link being the most reliable and most up-to-date version. If you're having trouble downloading from that link, such as not being able to find the server, try changing your iOS device to another Wi-Fi connection or restarting your iOS device. At the time of recording this FAQ, the current version of Airshow is 0.3.4, so if you suffer from any of the following issues in this guide, make sure you are at least up to this version of the application. When I try to record, AirPlay doesn't show up. When you record through the Airshow app, you need to open the control center and tap on AirPlay. If it's not there, try quitting Airshow through multitasking, that's double tapping on the home button and swiping the app away. If that doesn't work, try restarting your device or reinstalling the Airshow app. When I install Airshow, I can't see device management. When you install Airshow, you need to trust the app through device management, which is in the general settings tab under profiles and device management. If it doesn't immediately appear after installing Airshow, wait a few minutes or try restarting or reinstalling the app. Should I trust the app? If you don't trust the app in device management, you can't use it, simple as that. To date, I've not heard of a single complaint about this app breaking a device, but you do this all at your own risk. When I record, it cuts off the end of the video. If you are using an older iOS device such as an iPhone 4 or an iPod 5th generation, then I'm afraid this could happen. You can either try recording shorter videos or simply upgrading your device. When I record, I get a green screen. This was an iPad Pro issue, which is now being fixed in the latest version of Airshow. If I set the recording to landscape, but then export the video to edit, it is set to portrait. Before you start recording, make sure rotation lock is not switched on from the control center and double check your screen orientation in the Airshow app itself. Can I record just sound from a device, not through the microphone? At the moment, no, Airshow records through the microphone on your device, which means it picks up everything including your voice. The developer has told me, however, that direct sound recording will be added soon. Also know that if an app needs to use the microphone, such as Siri, this will stop recording the sound as well on the Airshow app. When I record for a long time on Airshow, it will stop recording, and when I try and view the video, it will have a length of 0 hours 0 minutes. What's wrong? When Airshow crashes in the middle of a recording, it will say 0 hours 0 minutes, and it can't be played. This issue should have been fixed now in version 0.3.4. And that is your Airshow Frequently Asked Questions. I hope they help get the app running so you can start recording. If you have further questions, please post them in the comments below. And if there are enough comments on the same topic, I'll have another chat with a developer and hopefully get some more answers for you. See you again soon and enjoy the rest of your tech day.